everyone and welcome back to another beekeeping video. Exciting news, one of our hives here has swarmed and mum successfully managed to capture it. Since we've had a few hiccups, but more on that later. Now sadly, I wasn't here to film the whole ordeal, but my dad caught as much as he could on his iPhone. So today we're going to sort of do a bit of a reconstruction video and I'm gonna tell the story of how it all happened. So this is where it all started. My family were outside casually doing some gardening when they heard it. This is usually the first thing that happens when you know there's a swarm because you could have tens of thousands of bees flying around in midair and trust me, it's noisy. You're going to hear it first. So they came around the corner and this is what they saw. The air is absolutely heaving with buzzing bees. Now the colony has just exited the hive and there's a bit of confusion. They're all trying to get a scent of the queen bee to work out where she is before they can find somewhere to settle, cluster around her and keep her safe. Next stage was to enter the apiary and try and work out which of the hives has swarmed. So I'll bring you over to here. This is our national hive and this is where most of the activity was and where they could see the bees were coming out of. At this stage the bees want to find some kind of low hanging branch. This is somewhere that they can gather around the queen to keep her safe. And mum and dad realised that they were actually aiming for somewhere over that hedge. That seemed to be where the swarm was going. Next thing was for them to come around the side of the house and try and work out exactly where it was the bees were settling. The air was quite busy around here and eventually that is where they settled. And you can see from the footage here that there is an enormous amount of bees. Whilst they were sitting on the branch, mum then wanted to act quickly before we lost the swarm. So she ran off to get something called a skep, which is basically a fancy name for a box that you keep bees in, and a hive tool, um, a brush, so that she could brush the bees into the skep to then transport them to a new hive. Problem is, getting a swarm of bees into a skep can be a tricky thing to do. So I don't have any active footage of this, so instead we're gonna have to do a bit of a reconstruction. The way you get a swarm into a skep is to tap the branch that they've attached themselves to and they will naturally just fall into the box. The bees will stick together because their sole aim is to keep the queen bee safe. So that's what they're doing, they're clustered round her. She is in the centre of that huge swarming mass of bees. If she goes down and falls off the branch, everyone else is going to go with her. And for the same reason, once you take the skep away, which has the queen bee inside, any other sort of stragglers, anyone that's tagging along, will just naturally follow that box. So mum now has a skep that's full of a swarm of bees, and she's making her way over to the hives that we recently set up in one of our videos. So go take a look at that if you wanna see where they eventually got put. And here, Ta-da! Is the hive that mum was bringing the swarm of bees to. Now the way to get the bees out of a skep is actually really simple. All you do is take off the lid and then you tip the wooden box like mum's doing here towards the entrance of the hive. Often if you just leave the box tilted at an angle, they'll actually use the, um, the, that side of the wooden box as a slope and they'll just march their way in, sort of in a very orderly fashion. You can also see here that mum is quickly putting a super on top and she's filling it full of frames that have wax on them. This is to give the bees something to do immediately. They can start drawing out that comb because bees like to be busy and it will make them feel at home. And that was that, the swarm has been successfully collected and the bees have been put inside their new home. However, you can obviously tell that I'm sat here now and I'm not kitted up as I usually would be. And that's because they didn't hang around. Now, there are lots of reasons why bees might not find a hive attractive, but with that flower meadow right in front of them, there isn't really much reason why they wouldn't enjoy it. One speculation is that mum did notice that when she went to collect the swarm in the skep, the swarm had significantly reduced in size. So it's possible the swarm itself split, taking the queen bee with it, meaning that the bees were collected and put into this hive didn't have a queen bee. If that was the case, the bees would never have hung around and they would have gone off in search of um, the, that queen bee's pheromones. But we've never known for a swarm to split before and they probably would have heard it if, it had, if half of it had gone off in any other direction. But putting that question out to other beekeepers, what do you think happened? Why on earth would the bees not like this beautiful spot? Is it possible the queen bee wasn't there? 
please do let us know if you have any thoughts and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Stay curious and I'll see you soon. Bye! Just so you know, I've already done a video on my channel about why bees swarm, so if you have any questions at all after this video, go check that one out and it should answer them.